Deputy set to deliver a major tax reform speech from the Reagan Ranch, the same place uh, where President Reagan signed tax reform legislation uh, on the same date, 31 years ago. 31 years ago. And Chairman Brady joins us uh, this morning with a preview. We'd love to hear uh, the preview, Mr. Chairman. Um, can you give it to us in, 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 um, in two minutes? I can. I think I can. First, thanks for uh, letting me join you today. So tomorrow we're going to the Reagan Ranch on a historic day, August 16th, 31 days uh, on that very same day. The House and Senate conferees reached an agreement to send President Reagan his uh, uh, really game-changing tax reform. So we're going back to that historic location on that historic date. In fact, we're starting that day uh, interviewing with Ilan uh, to uh, advance that speech. And we're going to invite the American people to join us here. I know your network is covering it. You can follow it on Facebook, on the Ways and Means Committee. But the points we're going to make is that President Reagan wouldn't recognize the tax code we have today. That throughout, since the 31 years, America's really fallen into bad old habits on tax reform. And the final point we're making is that we are on track to deliver transformational, bold tax reform this year because President Trump, the House and Senate are working together to deliver on that timetable. We, uh, we all saw uh, the, the uh, debacle with, with uh, repeal and replace, obviously, Mr. Chairman. And, and there are many that say um, that Republicans that were probably never big, uh, big fans of the president, that they're going to embolden uh, as, you know, the approval ratings stay below 40 or, and, and everything else. They're be, going to be emboldened to, to not cooperate, perhaps, as we get closer to the midterms for their own uh, self-preservation. Do you think the chances are you're, you, you think this will happen given the, the current milieu in, in Washington? Yes, I do. And here's why. One, uh, I don't think any lawmaker believes it helps their reelection chance to miss the opportunity to fix this broken tax code. And there's so many things different in tax reform than the health care. First, while America is divided about the benefits of Obamacare, there's no one defending the status quo of this broken, complex, ugly tax code. Secondly, we have the White House, the House and Senate working together on the same page, unifying behind a single tax reform plan. That didn't happen in health care. And finally, as we're out here as lawmakers making the case in August, September for bold tax reform, You've got groups united behind this effort, making the case to the American people as well. So to me, it feels so much different than health care. I've also seen um, some criticism, again, not necessarily from uh, the president's supporters, but on the right. Uh, Republicans say that uh, the president hasn't used the bully pulpit sufficiently, didn't do it enough with, with Obamacare repeal, and that it's going to need to be done on, on tax reform. We, we had a uh, a poll yesterday that said that the, the majority of the country uh, doesn't necessarily think we need tax reform. They don't feel like uh, they're overtaxed at this point. And sometimes it matters whether where public opinion was. We never got above 20 percent on repeal and replace, and maybe that mattered. You think the president it will, will get out there and, and, and outline exactly what the benefits of each of these moves are at some point? Would that help? You know, I do. It will help. In fact, you can't do this without presidential leadership. In my sense of President Trump, he's all in on tax reform. And I have to tell you this, I, I don't know what those polls, how they're determined, but in the town halls, the round tables I make, boy, Americans are starved. They're hungry for something better than what we have in the tax code today. Look, they're tired of watching our American companies and jobs and research move overseas. They're tired of their young people getting out of school with with very little prospects for good paying jobs. They know something needs to be fixed. And after 31 years, boy, this tax code has tripled in size. Uh, all those special interest loopholes are back full force. And people know it's just unfair. So, boy, I sense something much different uh, in my communities and neighborhoods. My guess is most lawmakers